what is going on guys today I'm here with a tutorial on how to build a video light for under $20 so here's what you'll need you need six 25 centimeter PVC pipes one half meter PVC pipe and one one meter PVC pipe as well as four T joints a coupling and a clamp light of your choice so the first step is to grab your T-joint and place the 25 centimeter pieces in each of the ends like so, making sure that you tighten them so they don't come apart and then grab your other T-joint and put it in one of the ends like that and also do the same on the other end. And also tighten them up so they don't come apart and also make sure they sit flush with the ground. Now grab the rest of your 25 centimeter PVC pipes and put them in each of the ends of all your T-joints. And you might be wondering why we're using PVC pipes. It's because they're super cheap. I got all of these pieces for about $9 at Bunnings Warehouse and the lamp was about $7 so the whole build is around about $16 to $17 so it's pretty cheap. And after you put in all your 25 centimeter pieces, you should get this, and that's the base of your stand. The next step is to grab your 1 meter piece and put it in the middle, and this will be the stand for your light stand. After you tighten everything down, bring in your coupling and just fit it on the top of your 1 meter piece, and grab your half meter piece and stick it on that, and this will extend your light stand to 1.5 meters. So after you do that, your light stand should be looking a little something like this, so you can see it's really coming together. And after you do that, place your T-joint on top of the uh, 1.5 meter piece, and this is where you'll clamp your light stand on. And if you think that's too tall, just take that piece off and grab your T-joint and put it on top of the 1 meter piece. And that's how I like it because 1.5 meters is just too tall. And after you do that, grab your clamp light and clamp it on the T-joint like so. And after you do that, it should be looking a little something like this. So what's great about my light is it's got an inline switch, so you might want to get one of these. But the downside to this, it can only use 40 watt bulbs. But you can get a different lamp, I guess. And another great way to mount your lamp is you grab the one sorry the half meter piece and stick it in the T-joint and then clamp your light onto the side of that like that alright so it should be looking a little something like this and that's the build so that brings me to the end of the video if you guys enjoyed give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribe as well as check out some of my previous work and I'll catch you guys in my next video